Okay, so we are going to, this is a setup to show you guys how to use the Xtool Creative Space, which basically is the software we use to set up the laser engraver and laser cutters. So when you start, it by default comes up with something like this. It's an untitled uh, new project. They call them projects in here. Now you should have, I assume we already have our stuff like created and AutoCAD is most likely what we made our design in of something that we want to cut out uh, or engrave. So what I'm going to do is go up to this folder and say import image, not project. Project means you've already done this. So we're going to import an image on here and then show you the settings. Uh, the engraver's turned on. You may hear that the fan running, but you can see we are connected to, to one of the engravers over here. So we're going to go to import image. And I'm going to go in my architecture and I will pick, how about kitchen countertop? That's an easy one. So we open this up. Let's move this down here to the middle. If you hold down control and the scroll wheel, you can zoom in. And you can see I have this countertop design that I want uh, engraved, or I'm sorry, uh, well, yes, engraved in a sense. We'll talk about the difference between that in a second. And cut out. I want cut out of a piece of 1 8 um, uh, birch that, that we use, uh, plywood. So you can see it has separate, it allows you to select separate parts uh, of your design, of the image that you bring in. Now, if you notice, that was a DXF file that I brought in. I showed, there's a separate video for that. I showed you how in class, how to convert in AutoCAD for a DXF file so that this software can read it. But that's why we can only open up these DXF files that, that you see uh, that you see in here. Um, one thing that Xtool does, and I know I talked about this in class, is that you have to uh, be sure you know the difference between um, uh, your lines that are continuous lines and things that you trim. The DXF files transfer that, and if you draw lines over lines over lines and trim them, uh, it reads that. So you want to be sure you have one singular line without any trims or anything um, in your final version that you save. Because, like for example, if I drew like three lines over top of here, the DXF file reads that, and it will physically the laser will go three times over that, which is why I don't want it to do. So this one I think looks pretty good, uh, but I'll select this first one first, this first outer line here, the one that was highlighting in blue. And for this one, uh, I don't want it to score. Scoring is like um, laser engraving or etching a line into uh, a piece of uh, a material or wood. So like think of like uh, lettering or, or just lines. A, a lot of things we're gonna do here is scoring. This outer part, I don't want the laser to score this. I want the laser to cut this. So I'm going to go to cut. I'm going to turn my power up to like 90. I'll put my speed down a little bit to 15. And passes. One pass of the laser at 90% uh, percent power is not going to be quite enough. And if you're asking why not just 101, it, that still won't be enough for these lasers. And the more passes you do, the more uh, scorching you get, which is like a burning around, which we want to try and limit that. So I'm going to do 90% and I'm going to do three passes at 15 uh, speed, which that should be pretty good. This spot right here is where my sink is going to go. And I 3D printed a sink to sit down in here, uh, like a sink bowl. And I measured it and I have the correct sizes. So this one, I want this one cut too. And I want to do this one at 90. And I'm going to put this one at 15 as well. And same thing, three passes. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to hold down control and the scroll wheel zoom in. This is just a design I made for uh, for like a burner insert stovetop thing. This thing I want scored. So the outer thing I want. Uh, score can be kind of higher on, on the higher end, like uh, 80%. You don't have to be too high because I know A, it goes slow, and B, it could really scorch the material. Speed, we can speed this up a bit. It can be fast, and one pass is plenty. Uh, for my burners, I want these. Uh, well, we'll try something a little bit different. We'll have this one, and we'll hold down Shift and select that one for the two inside parts of the burners. Those, let's put up to like 80, let's put up those to 90. Speed, we can put up to 40, one pass. But then what we'll do is we'll put the outer ones, like this one, 
and that one, we'll put those like lower. So what you would see is you, let's put these at like 70 and we can do the speed at still at 40 is good and one pass. And what you'll see is you'll see the intensity of the laser. So these will be darker and these will be lighter. And that's the nice thing about these softwares is you can change that. If you had an image or something where you want something really dark or really light, you change that with the intensity of the laser. This is like an indoor grill like pattern. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but same thing on that. I'll put that at a little bit. Uh, where do I have these at? I have those at 70. Yeah, I'll put these at 70 as well so that you guys, if we were to cut this out or actually do this, you'd see a delineation between uh, kind of the intensity of the laser, especially on engraving. Uh, engraving is for like bigger images that you're going to do. Our uh, scoring is when you have lines and we can put this up to 40. 45 even would be fine. And one pass. Scoring only needs one pass. So now all that, all those lines, and that's the, the key. You have to check and be sure, especially if you have elaborate design of what is being cut, what's being scored for us is probably going to be mostly what we have and then what is going to be um engraved if we have anything engraved uh next we can process it and the next thing to do would be to frame it to get it on your piece of wood um you're gonna to need to have me come over or have someone show you exactly how to frame it on your piece of wood but that is the next process uh and you can then then uh, set your laser up to go